Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City. Let's continue developing the Northeast Quadrant of Freedom City. Okay, so, yeah, we're at the beginning of the year. Why don't we check to see how the crime rate is doing around here? Okay, so far so good over here, though I do want to build some more police departments anyway, because I think I'm just barely short of being able to develop uh, one of these see tops there and building those police departments should take care of that so let's get everything filled in quite nicely there no more schools or hospitals to worry about make sure everything's powered up yeah why don't we double check in the map here power grid okay good i didn't forget to plug anything in so yeah let's fast forward until we can get uh, see top developing there. Hopefully I can get the left one going first. That would make things move a bit faster. But we'll see how that goes. Please don't merge together in the middle. Someone else develop a C5 high. Yeah, those residential zones are gonna not develop pretty well right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to do this the hard way then. Let's uh, slow things down a little bit here. Yeah, we'll just have to do that. Sometimes that happens when I try to be a little too aggressive with developing more than one C-top at a time. Another thing I could do is maybe just leave that one out entirely and that way I'd have more space for parks to help the remaining commercial zones develop into a C5 high, but I don't think that's really necessary here, especially with the added police departments there. We should be fine, but we'll keep an eye on things. Okay, so we got everything powered up there. Fast forward until I can get everything going here. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, aren't one of those C-tops not supposed to, or is one of them supposed to be splitting up because there's no rail connected to them? Haha! -ha, yeah, right behind the one on the right there. So yeah, that one is all set and ready to go. That particular tile is convenient because it serves both of the upper commercial zones of those two C tops. So that's why I put it there together. But alright, let's get the left or the left C top developing. Hopefully before the other commercial zone develops there again, please. Oh, we might get a R top going down there. You know what? Why don't we just uh, pay the full 100 here just to satisfy my OCD? The money difference is negligible at this point, and we're never going to have a fire. Even if we did, I can deal with it without having pl or not police the uh, fire department's on standby although i guess you would want to deploy police to a uh, scene of a fire or a crime maybe i don't know but all oh, right we got the next c-top going now yeah why don't we take a look at how crime is doing this year see if i need to build any more with all the population density i've got going on okay so we do have a little bit by the residential zones there because of the land value so i'll put another police department over here eventually but why don't we get things moving over here first okay so i'm gonna need to get rid of that police department because it's gonna be in the way of where i want to increase some land value so i can build both of these c tops at once it is rather tricky but it can be done so, but i need to get that police department out of the way in order to do it okay this column is basically done as far as i'm concerned okay so let's see how much more we're gonna need i'm, I'm gonna have 68 commercial zones there let's see i could go with nine more residential and let's see seven more industrial that should be okay there yeah so why don't we get the residential zones going first there and figure out where i want to put 
uh, police department over there as well. Okay, so why don't we start all the way down here? I want to put a lot of residential zones in this particular column in total. Yeah, get, get some uh, backup power lines going there. And then, let's see, right over... Let's see, up to left three from that police department. So, yeah, that ought to do. Why don't we also connect everything down here? Let's see, so if these guys go down, they could go left of that police department, but why don't we disconnect that one so they don't go into a dead end there? All of these are disconnected, and yeah, if they try to go to the right, they'll hit the police department. That ought to be good enough for now. Okay, so with the 4x4 regions coming up here, let's see, I want to put another piece of rail over here, but not without taking away from this sea top. So let me see where we got everything there. Okay, so that region is okay, and then this one is, well, we already got the one there. But I can move that around to be more convenient. I simply wouldn't have put it here before because that would have taken away from the land value of, well, the sea top that's already fully developed there. So if we do that, that should be okay. Why don't we replace that as well? And then I can afford to remove these rails. Okay, so with the 4x4 regions here, we've got this one up here. This one is going to be the really hard one to do because we've got those other commercial zones in the way. So I need to be careful with where I place everything. But yeah, no matter what, I'm going to have a tile of rail in that home 4x4 zone. So that could be a little tricky, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so yeah, I basically want to start with the middle one. That's going to be the really hard one. Okay, so we got that. Or wait a minute. No, we got to go another another one there. There we go. This is the 4x4 region. And you know what? Why don't we get rid of... Let's see. I was thinking about getting rid of one of the industrial zones there just to get a little more. But I don't think I actually need that. Let me see. Okay, so if we go down here and over here. Yeah, but I don't think that'll be a, a huge problem. But I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so we got this one, that one, then if we go down, I'm just thinking where I want to get railing over to this one, but I think I could just go like this and then come around the back end there. Okay, and then for this part, let's get all of that out of the way. I need every tile of uh, parks that I can get for this particular commercial zone. Okay, and then for over here. Okay, so we got that. I want to be careful with where I'm going to be placing these. Okay, how about we do this? If I go over here and then up there I think that'll be okay and then I can remove all of this rail to make a bit more room for parks and that way we still have a valid destination instead of just cutting everything off here entirely and then for this one okay so we go up here I think I can get rid of all of this rail and be okay yeah why don't we get most of this rail out of the way let's see i'll leave one there and that'll be okay okay yeah so go up here that'll also help out this commercial zone there oh i think i went a little too high with the parks on that one i didn't need that but whatever i've got more than enough money to do well everything okay then get a little more over here yeah why don't we get rid of those commercials or industrial zones there 
so I can get a little more land value out of the way. Okay, so we get that. And then, okay, I'm going to need to go over here to get access to that commercial zone. Okay, then... Okay, get that set up. And I'm going to get power over to the commercial zone like that too but I'm gonna need to be a little careful with this see if I go like that and then go down from there I think that'll be okay but I need to yeah connect all that okay I think that'll get the job done there I need a little more on uh, yeah, up here for a little more land value. Gonna need every bit I can get. Okay, I think I'm okay leaving that police department there. Especially since it only affects this commercial zone, which should develop quite easily. And then everything else over there. Okay, I've got everything connected and powered up, I believe. Okay, then let's get seven more industrial zones. I'll see what I can and can't do with that okay so up here i think i can put one more here and that would be okay yeah why don't we get one there i lost two so i actually need to build nine total now so how about we do this yeah i just need to be careful not to affect those either okay so let's go like that and then, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That ought to be good enough. Okay, so four, four, and one. That should get the job done. Hey, that ran. Okay, so I just want to make sure my valid destinations are good here. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, I think we're all set and ready to go. So we're working on three sea tops at once. Ha <laughs> ha! But let's make sure we don't have any schools or hospitals trying to sneak into my city. Okay, well, we can wait on those commercial zones if you're not going to develop anytime soon. Uh-oh. But uh, be careful. Good thing I had that power line up there. <laughs> I almost forgot about that when I was destroying those. I was like, wait a minute, do I still have power? Yeah, we still have power. But, uh, yeah, let's just make sure no funny business is going on. Okay, very good. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, I was a little worried about that middle commercial zone there. But it looks like everything's going to go. Let's just wrap up. Another sea top over here. That one is pretty easy to develop. It may sit there for a little while, but we'll get where I need to go. And after that, we might I might need to build some more police departments just for the population density, which increases the crime rate in a city. Okay, there we go. Got that. Yeah, how about we uh, slow things down just a little bit there. Okay, so I think we're safe to just go straight down like that. And then... I don't think I want to destroy this rail yet because... Yeah, I need a rail that's not going to interfere with the land value for those commercial zones. So we'll leave that one there. But I can get rid of that one. Whoop. There you go. Okay, industrial zones are looking good. Now we just got these commercial zones. I would actually prefer that the upper two commercial zones become a C-top first. So that way I can start on a commercial zone in the next column. Oh yeah, we can uh, fast forward at this point. So yeah, like I did here, finish the more distant one first and then... Start going to the next column while you're finishing up one of the first two commercial zones. 
But either way, it'll be fine. Uh-oh. Looks like the middle two are gonna try and merge again. Well, if necessary, I can deal with that. As annoying as it would be. Well, maybe we'll get the lower two taken care of first. Why not? Okay, then, yeah, we got plenty of power plants. I was just like, I'm over 240,000. I might want to think about building another one, but uh, I've got more than enough power for the city. You can never have too much power. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Don't do it, game. I don't want to have to start all over here. What else? Okay, I could build some more industrial zones up here if I wanted, but I'm getting pretty close to developing commercial zones up there. So I think I just want to leave that alone, actually. Nuts. Okay, yeah, we'll have to do this the hard way then. Yeah, let's slow things down until the power gets restored. Are we good? Okay. Yeah, just the commercial zones not cooperating today. Oh, well. But at least I can get the upper two done. And that'll make life a lot more convenient. Now, the next column that I'm going to be working on, I'm actually going to have three C-tops in there. I want to do one of them by itself before doing the other two. Because there's not a whole lot of room to work with for the first C-top over there. So get that one, the hardest one, out of the way, so that way the other two will be more convenient. Another thing I thought about doing with developing my C-tops is... Ah, there we go. Got one. Why don't we wait until next year, though, to build more? But yeah, what I was thinking of doing is, like, maybe at the start of building the city where I start over here, build in both directions at once. Two quadrants, essentially. But that makes it more difficult because, I mean, yeah, I can have them separated, so I don't have problems with commercial zones merging improperly. Oh yeah, I can uh, get rid of this now. So yeah, you don't have to deal with improper merging, but then the center of the city is going to be pretty far away from some of the commercial zones. I can't, like, drag it into one quadrant or another. So, yeah, that just makes things a lot messier. Okay, well, we're doing pretty good on the commercial zone, or industrial zones, at least. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we see how crime is doing at this point? What do we got? Okay, the commercial zones are okay. I might want to put another police department over there. That crime there is getting a bit close to my C-tops there. So why don't we just get that done in advance? That ought to be good enough. And then, okay, so we get that. And then the next C-top. Let me see what I can do here. Let's just leave this alone for now. I'll probably do something with that rail eventually. So yeah, unfortunately with this C-Tap, we've only got four tiles of parks to work with in the home 4x4 region. So that makes this one much trickier. So I want to finish that one up entirely before I develop any of the other C-Tops in that column. Why don't we see how many residential and industrial zones I need there. If I can calculate that out. Okay, so two more commercial zones. Then I want, let's see, five residential and three industrial. That'll be good enough there. Okay, so we've already got this tile in the middle here, so why don't we just leave that alone? And then, let's see, to connect to th the one in, or this one, let's see. Okay, so I could go like this, and then remove this entire, well, 
almost entirely, I guess. Hmm. I'm just worried about this residential zone, because I won't have anything connected to it. Hmm. Well, let's do the upper side first, and I'll come back to that. Okay, so if we just go like that, that'll be fine. Let's get rid of this in the middle here. Okay, then, let's see, yeah, I take up that tile, but that's okay there. And then, okay, so over here, yeah, that'll be fine. It's just the bottom part that I'm concerned with. Let me see what I can do with the other zones. Okay, so I need five residential. So let's see what I have available here. Okay, so with this one, okay, I've got room for six more residential in this column but I'll just go with the five for now and then let's see three more industrial so let's see I'll probably just put them around here somewhere let's see I don't think I need uh, the this 4x4 four four region anymore nothing uses it anymore so yeah I think we can uh, be okay with that let's see okay so that's there. Okay, there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that other industrial zone out, but the one there is fine. Okay, and then... I'm just thinking if I wanna... I don't think I wanna build any more over here, because the next sea tops that I wanna develop are gonna be, like, right here. And I'm probably going to have to remove some of these industrial zones eventually to deal with that. So for now... Yeah, let's just fill that in, and maybe one more over here. That ought to be good enough. Okay, so, yeah, the problem here is with this residential zone. Let's see, maybe if I go, like, up and then to the right there, that might work. Let's see, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Well, this one's already a C5, so I don't need to worry about its land value anymore. It's only the upper one I care about. So, yeah, we can do that just fine. I find it often works for fi finding a solution to a problem if I just take a step back from it and then return with a fresh perspective. Okay, so over here, I'm going to get rid of those power lines eventually. Oh, well, I don't even need that there, though. I got this rail. Right. But I'm still going to need to connect power over here anyway. So, yeah, we'll just do that. That'll be fine. Do that. Then I can get that out of the way. Okay, so, yeah, basically I'm just using this as a valid destination to get over here. Okay, so we got that, we got those, we got all the new industrial zones. Did I build four? No, no, I built this one already. It just didn't develop for some reason. But otherwise, I think we're good to go. Let's let everything... Oh, you know, I need a valid destination over here. Hmm. Let's see, I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have a, a valid destination over here. Let me see how many zones I got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I put my police department up here, which is where it'll go eventually, I think that'll work. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, get all the way over here. And yeah, that ought to work. If I wanted, though, I could have... Well, no, I don't know that that would work. I was thinking of, like, doing a crossover like I did before here. But that would mean, yeah, they could go up and around and then back down here and run out of room to, well, move to a valid destination, that is. Well, it looks like my citizens finally learned about my no school rule. Guess they didn't need to go to school to learn that. 
just teach them a lesson that they will never forget. Okay, well, it looks like we got the land value correct over there, so let's fast forward until we get another sheet top somewhere. Hopefully, I can finish these two today, and then I can plan out how things will go from here. Yeah, one of the nice things about playing through this segmented from one episode to the next is that when I practice what I'm about to do, I can see if there's going to be land value problems. Like with the first three police departments I built today there, I didn't know that I wasn't going to have quite enough land value to get this see top going there but just a little more police departments and that solved the problem like i'll just basically if you've got a c top in the works and you're just sitting there for like a year or something and it just won't upgrade that's probably because the upper commercial zone has a land value between 150 and 159 inclusive and you need 160 in order to become a C top so you're probably just missing just a little bit of land value so moving the center over even by a single 2x2 two two region could make all the difference in getting that to finish up and you know what now that we've got things moving here, let's see how the crime is doing. Alright, very nice. Yeah, I know we had some by those residential zones. For now, the police presence there will get the job done. I just don't want to build more police departments yet. Like around here, because of the commercial zones that I've got in development. Even if there was some amount of heavy crime in the area as long as it's not red it really won't hurt the land value that much you need to have a crime rate of 190 in order for it to significantly affect land value and crime caps at 300 so yeah whatever you're i've got is good enough as long as it's not like in the red you'll be fine Okay, well, it looks like we got a C-top just kind of sitting there for now. I'll wait a little bit on that until we get, like, the lower right one done. If that one finishes before the new one, then I'll probably look for a way to increase the land value slightly. Or we could just finish up the C-top now. Hooray! Alright, lots of C-tops developing today. Although this one is being rather stubborn. Let's double check the the land values. Maybe I miscounted something. Okay, so from here... Okay, we got that. And that's about all I can do with that. Hmm. Although... Maybe if I moved one over here, that could work. And get a little more land value in that home 4x4 region... Maybe that could help a little bit. I just didn't want to do that earlier there. Maybe that would have been a better idea, though. Hmm. In the first place. Okay. Then this is as good as it's going to get. And... Hmm. Okay. I think I know what I can do to at least fix this a little bit. Let's do that. And then get rid of this one. And then I can get a little more land value. Never hurts to double check your work. Okay, so that's good. That's good. This is as good as it's going to get. And let's see. That's good. So, yeah, I think that's about all I can do with this one. But once we finish this one off, then we can get moving a little more. Why don't we check the crime again? Okay. Yeah, just got a bit going on over here because I don't have a police department right here. But I'll put one there eventually. Just for right now, I want to get this last C-top done today. 
not tomorrow. That is, if it'll ever move again. Well, if it doesn't, I mean, I can... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, just finish it. FINISH HIM! I wonder if there's like... Oh, well, okay, I was gonna say, I wonder if there's crime maybe affecting the development of that C-top, but... All right, we made it. Lots of C-tops done today. Just got, let's see, four more to go in the Northeast Quadrant. Can we finish them all? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.